All right, his powerful message about the American dream now going viral on social media after speaking at CPAC over the weekend. We must show them an America where the son of a slave can become a sharecropper, the son of a sharecropper can become a mason, the son of a mason can become a truck driver, and the son of that truck driver can stand before you here today on the brink of becoming Michigan's first black U.S. senator. The crowd on Saturday erupted into cheers of, you can hear it right there, USA, and our next guest, as he made his case for the American capitalism and free will as well, joining us right now with more is Iraq War veteran and Republican Senate candidate in Michigan, John James. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for having me back on. The reason your message was so powerful is because it was about going for your family went from poverty to prosperity in one generation. Tell your story, the Cliff Notes version, if you would. Well, uh, my story doesn't begin with me. My story began a long, long time ago, much like uh, America began a long, long time ago. Uh, I am the walking result of the American dream, and we need to make sure that we protect and preserve that dream for others. If you want to see the entire speech, go to johnjanksforsenate.com, and you'll see where I talked about where capitalism works, but we need to make sure we continue to tear down barriers and increase access to folks who don't have it. Uh, where you don't need to go to Venezuela to see where liberal leftist socialist politics policies have failed their people. You can just come to Michigan and see where we're failing our neighborhoods, where we're forgetting our farms, and where we need to make sure that we have situations where we don't have policies of envy and confiscation, but we have policies that increase access and opportunity for all Americans. John, very charismatic speech, my word. Um, you'd be a great senator, it looks like, and then maybe president one day. I could see you doing oh, that. Goodness. How's the race looking? The race is looking great. Uh, we're tied statistically in all the recent polls. Uh, we've outraised our uh, incumbent, uh, uh, incumbent opponent by a million dollars last quarter. We have no primary. And uh, we're buoyed by the support of folks out there just like you uh, who've gone to johnjamesforsenate.com, who believe in our race, who know that we can win this thing, uh, and not just to beat our opponent. We don't have hate in our hearts. We want to win a better Michigan for the future. We want to win a better United States of America to make sure that we protect our children and their futures and not this lurch to right. the left that you're seeing from the Democrats. Yeah, we know you've got a military background and a business background, but John, looking back at your uh, family background, why isn't John James a little angry? You remember, your family started as slaves and had to work their way up, and you could argue, and it's hard to push back on it, that you've had a harder time than other uh, races, white, uh, uh, Hispanic. Why aren't you angry and bitter? Why are you smiling and optimistic? I'm optimistic because we live in the greatest country that's ever been on this planet. And uh, there's not hate in my heart. There's not bitterness in this heart. But too few people have heard that message. Too few people know that we live in the greatest country. And uh, what Democrats are trying to do is they're trying to take the gratitude uh, out, of, of, out of what we have as, in this nation. Yes, my, my father was born across the street from Starkville, Mississippi, uh, in, in Mississippi State University and couldn't go there because he was black. And now he has a son knocking on the door of the U.S. Senate. We need to make sure that this, yes, it is the story of all Americans who immigrated uh, for, to here for better opportunities. But we need to make sure that we uh, take our policies and we broaden our tent and we show how capitalism can work for everyone. Well, and so I'm not angry. I'm excited. Uh, I'm optimistic. And I truly believe that with the right leadership, uh, we're going to increase and continue to grow our nation for the well, future. Well, John, what do you make of the fact that uh, Bernie Sanders, currently on the Democratic side, the Democratic Socialist, is actually on the verge of perhaps becoming their nominee if he does well tomorrow. Well, that, this is what I'm saying. It's not just about beating Bernie. It's what I said in the speech. Uh, it's about the fact that socialism has such an appeal uh, for this next generation. You know, Reagan said that uh, we didn't pass along freedom in our bloodstream. We have to make sure that we fight and protect it. And because we, as Republicans, haven't done a good job going into our inner cities and going into our campuses and showing how conscientious capitalism, uh, how, how compassionate conservatism works for Americans, then the Democrats are filling that vacuum with lies. We need to do better. And so I'm looking forward to working for every vote, everywhere, regardless of what you look like or how you were born, um, uh, loving everyone uh, and, and um, showing and bringing glory to God. And I, I really think right. that by having an economy that works for everyone, not just talking about the GDP, but by telling people how it works for their bottom line, I think that's how we win. I think that's how we protect the American dream for future generations. You're certainly not going to get outworked, and you certainly have a powerful message. Uh, John James, thanks so much. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me.